Hi everyone. We just want to say a massive thank you to all the support you've all been giving us recently. You know, over the last couple of weeks, we've really seen a big difference in you know you guys liking, yeah, subscribing, and views. commenting. It's really really helped. So if you can continue to like and subscribe, keep doing that. This that video is um is a big one. <laughs> big big things happen it. in this video. So without further ado, here it is. So this is the river in Santa Eulalia. You'll all be happy to know, I can now say Santa Eulalia. Which is the only river in all the Balearics. It joins from the north and then joins down to the sea. This bridge here you walk over, which takes you from Siesta to Santa Eulalia. So we come for a nice three course meal at the start. Of We've got black rice and seafood with a beer. So our main course, we've gone for a Mediterranean fish with white rice this time. And dessert was the traditional chocolate. Oh, look how cute all this presentation is. So we just finished that food in that lovely restaurant. It was really, really good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really lovely. So we're back on the road again, aren't we, Mal? Yeah. We've left where we, we've been. So now we're walking down this, this, main road with no this pavement. highway that has no pavement either way. We're kind of waiting for a lift. Hoping to hitchhike for the first time, aren't we? Yeah. We're going to have a walk down into Santa Lelia and then go from there to find out where we're going tonight. Because apparently we have... How many plans, Mal? Zero. Just go with the flow and see where we end up for the night. We've decided that we're going to get the bus into Ibiza town just because then we're more central and then once we're there we can figure out what we're going to do and from there you know buses go everywhere whereas right now we're here in Santa Eulalia and we're just a little bit a bit stuck but there's a little indoor market while we wait for the bus so I'm just going to go take a look. So we just got off the bus from Santa Lelia to Ibiza town. We're in Ibiza town now and um, we're just talking accommodation and things. It's got a lot busier here. Well, it hasn't really, is it? No, it so hasn't got busier. It, it, it got prices. busier and then, and then when the UK put this quarantine back in, when you go back home, it, it's dropped again. Yeah. But the prices are still sky high and there's yeah, like no apartments free at the moment. We've messaged so many people are asking for apartments and stuff. None of them are free. <laughs> We're going to head to San Antonio now and going to do some snorkeling and cliff jumping tonight just because that's the main reason we're here. We've had probably a week off really, haven't we, of yeah. doing everything we really want to do. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled on what we're going to do. We're thinking We've that, got like a good plan going. Yeah, uh, but, but we, can't, we can't say what the plan is yet. But it's going to involve us being away for a long time really. Yeah. And that's what we want to do. Yeah, we don't want to go home like, anytime soon, really. So we just arrived in San Antonio off the bus and we're just walking to the hostel that we said we were going to stay in. Hey, today is the hottest day in Ibiza so far. On our phones, it currently says it's 36 degrees. It's boiling and we're literally lugging all of our luggage around. So we just got to the hostel. This is what we're faced with. So we're finishing our hectic day. We're walking back down the San Antonio Strip towards the Ibiza Rocks Bar and to O Beach to spend the evening. Good morning, people. We have survived one night in the hostel. <laughs> No, we had a good night. It was obviously me and Mal. 
I jumped him with Malt for a little bit, and then... Until he fell out of bed. I fell out of bed about one o'clock, so I said, oh, I'm going to my own bed, because obviously the only singles. We, uh, we're, because of coronavirus, there's only three of us in this six-bed dorm. So, it was only one fella of a fella. We haven't met him yet, but we heard him last night. He came in, must we be one. We haven't met him, but we've heard him rummaging and snoring. And he came in about half one in the morning, and obviously we were asleep and woke up. And then he got up at 7am with his alarm going off. <laughs> his alarm, but he didn't wake up to his alarm. There's a sound out of the gym, was in fight, and he literally jumped by his <laughs> So we haven't met him, but we know him really well. Yeah. <laughs> so we're waiting to meet him. Uh, we don't know what we're going to do today yet. Um, again, we don't know where, where we're going to go. We don't know where we're going to stay. Just going to go with the flow. Might stay here. Don't know yet. Hopefully we can go kayaking or canoeing, because that's something we really want to do. But I think we said we'd meet me up with Kiss in the Affinity Pool, but that's enough until about three anyway. Yeah. So we hopefully could go kayaking first. Back in Soul House. If Mole lets me. I wanna go. So we're back in Soul House. What a morning we've had. I've cracked my phone. Obviously Molly's battery blew up on her phone. And uh, Molly dropped my phone then and broke my camera as well, so an out of a morning. But how can you be anything? but happy when you're in a setting like this. So we've come for some lunch in the lovely El Kiosco. They do fantastic pizzas here. And they do all different kinds of things like Italian stuff and good beers. So I've gone for a mozzarella, oregano and tomato grilled sandwich. And Molly, what have you gone for? Tuna, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Yeah. So we've just got to our place, and this is what it looks like. There's our girl doing the washing. For the first time ever in my life. Yeah, she's been panicking about this. She's going to put this washing on now. I hope it doesn't go wrong or anything shrinks because it is my first time. She doesn't realise that my t-shirt I got on needs to go in before she puts it on me as well. Well, he doesn't realise he needs to get off. This is coronavirus first world problems. When you get out of the apartment to go to the shop and you forget your mask, this is what happens. Hey Mark, can you have a mask please? I forgot mine. Gracias. Ciao, adios. adios! Molly sent me now at midnight to go and get some food because that food I was cooking earlier, oh my, it was dreadful. We had no oil, no anything, so we just burn it on the pan. This fish, I bought it, I had to fill it. It was crazy. You know, the worst part was, is that I thought I was buying salmon, like a fresh salmon. It turned out it was like catfish. And I, I was literally catfished with a catfish. Um, so yeah, we had end up having nothing to eat really. End up chucking all of it in and I was like 11 euros as well. So I was so annoying when we're trying to stick to our budget. And we just put 11 euros into the, uh, into the bin. So, Happy birthday! So Christmas. <laughs> what is it? Chip kebab! Yeah! 